It was at this moment that his life flashed before his eyes, and he knew he was royally fucked. <laughs> he just cut off this dude's taint right here. What is up, guys? Me like here, and today we are back in totally accurate battle simulator tabs, and it's gonna be freaking amazing. If you guys enjoy, make sure to smash the like button. I'd really appreciate it and help me out tremendously. So last time we did some random stuff. We played a little bit more through the campaign and uh, I've looked through the comments and we got some suggestions for some battles. If you want to see any battles uh, that you've come up with yourself, then comment down below and we'll try to do it next time. Uh, but my by far one of my favorite ones is just the name of this guy uh, or the name of the, the battle he said. He said I should do a zombie horde battle. And what that means is a bunch of like peasants versus kind of like a militia kind of. So it's like zombies versus militia. Also, another thing you guys should know about me as I'm setting this up is I say a bunch of words when I mean the opposite. Like I say catapult and other stuff. It's because I go into recording mode. I talk about this in all my videos, but I'll say sentences that doesn't make sense. I'll say all kinds of random stuff. And and it doesn't mean I don't know what I'm talking Well, okay. I mean, it might mean I, I don't know what I'm talking about. But most likely, I have like a sort of... I don't even know what it'd be. It's kind of like a sort of dyslexia, but it, I don't actually have dyslexia. It's like... I just, I, I just say random shit, okay? I just say random shit all the time. Anyways, we are going to uh, do something. We need, to, we need to find the zombies here. Okay, so peasants are going to be the zombies. And I think they said like 70, but I think we're going to set up like 100 peasants or something so they cost uh, 10 okay so this should be pretty easy here uh, this should actually be almost a thousand dude look at look at that amount okay this is way more than a hundred um, but yeah this is a lot of peasants guys we'll just do 140 or something 114 uh, that's fine and then let's go ahead and do versus the militia so they want one m16 so this guy right here we're just gonna stick him do the, the 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 zombies are just gonna get mowed down man like the other side that he has set up i feel like it's like way too much okay so it's uh five spear guys one m16 one cannon uh 10 muskets and one axe i'm not even gonna do the axe because i feel like these dudes right here are going to mow down the zombie horde like it's just gonna it's it, there's not even gonna be a competition so we'll see what happens um and then yeah dude the <laughs> oh it looks like the spearmen are already down it seems like the m16 and then the muskets are just taking everything out i'm not even sure if the cannons fired yet has it fired is it going to fire oh oh <laughs> this guy is like flying up in the air that's so funny um uh, so the muskets seem like they're about to get taken out oh my god the zombies might actually win the zombie horde numbers okay maybe i should have thrown an axe guy in there good call on the numbers ma'am uh, it just it just felt like except for he said like 70 zombies i did 114 and so yeah maybe that might have been a little too much i don't know i just didn't think the peasants were going to be able to even do this good right here uh, we're gonna find out. Uh, I'm guessing the peasants are gonna win, but you never know what happens. This cannon could take them all out unexpectedly. Oh my god. So they got that guy. So there's, uh, six, seven. Oh no, four. Four peasants left versus one cannon. Oh my god, the cannon might actually win, guys. The cannon might actually win. Oh no. <laughs> As he ragdolls to the ground. Let's, let's get the cannon directly in this dude's face. Is he, is he gonna... Is he going to get blasted? I'm just waiting. It was at this moment that his life flashed before his eyes, and he knew he was royally fucked. <laughs> oh! <laughs> he just gets blasted, dude. So it seems like the zombie horde was unsuccessful, even with this many numbers. But it was a very close battle, so that was pretty good. Now, the next thing we have here is uh, they someone wanted samurais versus ninjas, which I think we did this before. Uh, let's go ahead and do Samurais. They wanted 50 Samurais and one Samurai Master versus 50 Ninjas and one Ninja Master. So I guess we'll give it a try. I think we tried this before, and then but nin and Ninjas absolutely crushed them. Okay, so I've set this up, and the way I've set this up is to maybe take the advantage away from the Ninjas. Because, I well, no, except for I guess with this, the Ninjas are going to kind of surround them. But I figured if the Samurais were maybe like in some sort of uh, close quarters, they could like bunch up together and not get taken out as quickly. But I have a feeling the Ninjas now are just going to surround them and win so maybe we'll try to set it up a different way i'm not sure anyways i'm gonna set up a samurai master in the back and then we're gonna do a ninja master in the back right here and we have a long line of uh 50 ninjas and then 50 samurais here so we're gonna go ahead i had to bring up calculator to do the the sweet youtube maths for me uh anyways let's go ahead and start this and see how this plays out so it seems like 
they immediately took out me trying to take out the advantage or take away the advantage by putting them up real close might have actually worked out a little bit because they've now split into two different parties and have take are taking out the sides independently uh dude it actually looks like the samurais are gonna do decent good but i think the ninjas are definitely going to come out on top yeah, the ninjas are definitely going to come out on top. Okay, so the way we're going to set this up now is... Actually, I don't even know what happened to the masters, dude. Where'd the masters go? Are they just gone now? Oh, no, there's the uh, there's the samurai master right there. Look at him. He's, uh, he's getting taken out. He, <laughs> he just cut off this dude's taint right here. <laughs> he just directly cut off the taint. Nice. Good job, samurai. Going for the weak spots, man. Going directly for... Oh, is he down? Oh, he might be- Oh, he just dropped his giant samurai sword. He's down. You can tell he's the master because- Not only because of his head and flag and stuff, he has a giant samurai sword. So, it looks like blue is- Ninja's actually won, uh, which is- I maybe expected- Let's go ahead and clear this out. Let's go back under Asia and do 50 samurais here. Okay, so I did 50 and I lined them all up. So hopefully this might actually work better in the samurai's favor. I'm not exactly sure, but we should have 50. No, wait, I spent more. Wait, wait, did I? No, I didn't. Okay, yeah, we're right. We're good. 700. Okay, so yeah, it's 2,500 versus uh, 4,000 in money-wise anyways. And that turns out to be 50 versus 50. And it seems like the samurai up close makes this a much more compelling battle where, like, things are a little bit more even. It seems like everything died almost instantaneously, though. But now, see, now we have pockets of ninjas. Oh, no. We just have the master here. No! Dude, blue team won again. Holy crap, man. Yeah, the ninjas are just too OP, dude. Okay, what happens if I take away their ninja master, right? Their ninja master. Let's see what happens then. And then we just have the samurai. So it seems like... Slow motion. <laughs> he just gets stabbed, dude. His own teammate stabbed him right in the ass as he was flying down. You got this, bro? You got this? I don't know how you fasten that stupid flag on. Is that. The flag is like fastened on your helmet, man. It's like welded directly in there. It's going straight into your spine. That must be pretty uncomfortable, dude. Uh, so now we have pockets of ninjas versus pockets of samurai. Uh, is the samurai might still win, but maybe since the uh, the ninjas don't have the master anymore I mean the samurai might still win, but maybe since they don't have the master anymore uh, They might be able to take out uh, Or this uh, our samurai master, you know, whatever something words words since the master doesn't exist on the one team It might be good. Okay. I'm just gonna say one team just one of the teams you guys know which team I'm talking about and oh my god, wait, he won? Oh my god, that one ninja took out that dude. Oh my god, so ninjas are confirmed better just because of range, I guess. Anyway, so let's go ahead and clear this out. We're gonna do one more, I think. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, th th another guy said 100 samurai versus one ninja master. I think, I mean, I, maybe if you put the ninja ba master way back here, it might win, but it seems a little unfair right there. And then someone said I should just do a normal, like, straight-up battle with even odds. And they said 20 footmen, 10 archers, 2 ballistas, and 15 spear throwers on each side. So let me go ahead and set that up real quick. Also, feel free, uh, free. Actually, this would be better. Feel free to, like, theme the battles you want me to do. Like, that one dude said zombie horde. I thought that was kind of cool. Theme it in a way that, you know, is kind of cool. I mean, it doesn't have to be zombie horde, right? It could be anything, but I mean, I think I like kind of like the theme ideas. I think that's really cool. Okay, so I fully set this up. I set it up a little weird, so I had to compromise here. Uh, but we have 20 footmen, 10 archers, two ballistas, and well, one ballista, and then 15 spear throws on each side. So I got the archers set up in like lines right here, and I try to make it as even on each side as possible. It is set up a little weird with the spear throws. I might actually do another one after this and remove the spear throwers since they are a little weird. But I try to do it so there is, uh, it prevents as much crossfire as possible, but I, but I feel like the spear throws is not going to work out too much. Anyways, we got the ballistas here, which is good. Okay, so it seems like, oh my god, the middle just gets destroyed, man. The middle just immediately, here, let's, let's restart this real quick. In the middle just like right here at the beginning, they just all get shot down with uh, ballistas and then arrows and just everyone gets shot down. So I guess maybe there's crossfire because the archers are shooting directly into the backs of their own dudes here. Uh, I don't know how, like it seems like red team actually has a lot more foot soldiers right now. And then the spear throwers have already kind of thrown their spears and then the ballistas are going to town. So I'm curious what's going to happen after these middle dudes are dead. Yeah, oh! 
Oh, the spear throws. Oh, they just regenerate spears. Oh, dude, the spear throws absolutely destroyed the ballistas right here. Oh, he just took him out, dude. Okay, so it seems like, dude, red team, even with even numbers, red had a decisive victory there. I don't know. It's because maybe the way I set it up or it just comes down to like RNG, but red team had a definitely decisive victory right there. That was crazy. Anyways, guys, we're gonna go back through the uh, the campaign here. And then there was a few n more suggestions, but I'm gonna, uh, we'll save those for another time or we'll just do new suggestions for the next one. Uh, so comment down below. Anyways, we're playing through the campaign and we are now fighting a bunch of samurai, I guess. Is there anything else here? It's samurai and are these headbutters? What are these guys? Are these guys headbutters? I'm not sure. Anyways, let's just see if we can take these dudes on. So we were doing the OP strategy of using uh, a bunch of ninjas. So just straight off the bat, we could probably just use a bunch of ninjas. We can just see. Actually, no, that's gonna be a uh, that's gonna be friendly fire. You know what? Let's just get lazy. I'm just gonna get lazy. Yep, we're super lazy now. We're just gonna see if uh, this many ninjas can take on this many samurai. Because we already know ninjas are better than samurai for sure. Because of the long range. And they hit so fast that like, like I feel like ninjas are kind of like the, the OP unit here. You know what I mean? Because they, they throw the ninja star so fast that it's not even fair really. I mean, archers, archers are a little more fair because they do have range, right? But they shoot slower. Same thing with spear throwers and other stuff. But I guess each of their individual nearest, uh, ninja stars, oh my god, we just absolutely wrecked that one, man. I guess each of their individual ninja stars are probably like weaker compared to maybe like arrows or uh, spears or something. But since they just throw them so fast, it's like the same thing. I don't really know. Plus, they have like the knockback too. And since they throw them so fast, like the enemy can never get close. It just keeps getting knocked back and knocked back. Okay, so right here, we have a bunch of dudes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like how <laughs> they just throw, they just throw massive, just, they I, they just ragdoll. It's hilarious here. No, these are ninjas. I don't know what the heck I was thinking before. Yeah, these are ninjas, man. So we have ninjas versus ninjas here. And then I think the ninja masters actually maybe throw farther or longer. So they actually get, uh, they hit the ninjas before the ninjas actually hit them. See, so yeah, look at this. Look, and then they have so much more health. Yeah, they are just getting, they are just getting destroyed man uh, they might actually win though we might lose this one so we need to think of a different strategy to take on a bunch of ninjas how do you take on the most OP unit in the game how does that work man I don't know how it works but hopefully we actually win this one no there's so many ninjas here I don't think we're gonna win guys no I don't think we're gonna win there's no way there's no way they're just getting pelted too much actually this guy might be good he's not getting hit all in as much dude I can't believe we just won this no, we didn't win. Oh, no, we didn't win. Okay, I, I thought we were guaranteed to win. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's he's getting thrown back. It's so close. It's so Oh, no. He just got his ankle, like, ripped off, man. Dude, that was so close. That was so good. Okay, so you know what we're going to do? Let's get rid of all... Actually, no. Let's just get rid of all those guys. Let's do... We have 2,000 money. No, we can't. We can do two Ninja Masters, I guess. Let's put them right up here up front. And then we have 600 money left, right? We really need something to like distract that has a lot of health. But I'm not sure if we have anything that's like that. A chariot is gonna get taken out, isn't it? If I do a chariot, it's probably gonna get taken out, right? So let's do Ninja Masters. Here, we'll try it, let's just give it a try. Let's put the Ninja Masters like up here. And then we'll just try the chariot. We'll see how far the chariot actually gets. Oh, oh the chariot actually might go far, man. Oh, they're all distracted on him. The ch oh no, the cherry! Oh, the cherry got taken out very fast. It didn't even do anything. So yeah, this is pretty much a repeat, I think. Is this gonna be a repeat? Can like, can can the uh, apprentices take on the masters? I mean, I think they can't. Yeah, I don't think the masters can take on the apprentices, especially when you have forty-seven thousand apprentices and you're just one dude. Guys, this is even this, this is doing better than last time. They're doing much better than last time. Maybe the the cherry was like the distraction we needed. It was the hero we we needed but didn't deserve. The chariot sacrificed himself for us. So yeah, that was the distraction we need for sure. You know, maybe even a barrel roller guy would have been good right there too. But uh, I feel like <laughs> I feel like I just keep using the same cheaty tactics to win the game, right? So I don't know. But I mean, how you how how am I supposed to? What else is I supposed to use besides cheaty tactics? <laughs> Actual strategic knowledge? What? <laughs> that's that's uh. That's for plebs. Oh my god, was that a master? Dude, that guy took so much beating. Okay, so we're on level, what level are we on? 
We're on level 19 now, I think. Yeah, we're on level 19. We have, oh, we have, we have samurai and samurai masters, guys. We have one, two, three, four samurai masters. Four samurai masters. That is crazy. How much? We got 3,000 money? Dude, I really just want to use ninjas again. You know, like, is that stupid that I just want to use ninjas? Because I'm pretty sure we can just straight up win with, with that right there. Actually, you know what I do? Let's just distract them. Let's distract them with four samurais. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then we're just do a bunch of ninja masters. Boom. Four ninja masters. I feel like this is game over. Well, at least for level 19. Okay, so slow motion. I'm actually curious to see how fast the uh, these guys will get taken out. <laughs> I like how he flips through the air. He just does like front flips and swords them in the face. Either the face or the taint, man. So yeah, these guys, these guys are just destroying. They've already taken out. Actually, have they taken out any of the, the masters? Do you see any flags on the ground? No, I don't see any flags on the ground, guys. So I guess they haven't taken out anything yet. Okay, let's just speed this up here. This is taking way too long. Oh, they, oh, oh, they're pushing back the masters here. Oh, they can't even get close. These guys, oh, they're only doing uh, damage to each other. Dude, they're gonna win this no problem. Yeah, see, like these guys are just cheaty, man. The ninja masters are just straight up cheating. We didn't lose a single dude. Well, I besides the throwaway, you know, guys at the start, but we didn't lose a single ninja master. Oh my God. Oh my God. We have samurai and then one chicken man, man. I thought someone, I thought someone said the end was the super villain peasant, the super, the super peasant villain, uh, but maybe not, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, we have the chicken man, man. You know, I'm just gonna be a scumbag. I'm just a scumbag, guys. I'm just a scumbag. Yep, they were done. Done. Actually, you know what we do? Send one samurai master in the front. Boom. I'm just a scumbag. I'm sorry. That's just the way I roll, man. These guys are just cheaty, and I don't care. So they're gonna start shit sitting, uh, shitting out chicken men, but we already know that these guys shoot so fast that the chicken men won't even be able to get close. And it's just gonna be game over. Yeah, th watch this, guys. Oh no, we the, the chickens are flying, guys. Chickens are flying. If we can just take out the main dude here. Oh no, chickens. Chickens are swarming us. Chickens are swarming our masters. Dude, they are just weighing lay. I cannot. Oh my god. Laying waste to this dude. We won. Okay, thank you for playing. This was a super early look at what tabs will be. We have loads of exciting ideas for units and levels we want you to, add to we want to add to the game. If you wish list the game on Steam, we will let you know once it's out. Wish this on Steam. Please come back and discuss the game with us and our fans readily. Okay, guys. So that was the campaign. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this game is open alpha. You can download it. There's a link to their website down below. You have to sign up for alpha, but they will send you, since it's an open alpha, they're sending it to everyone. So, yeah, you should be able to do that. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Help me out tremendously. I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, click the like button if you enjoy the tabs, and then post some suggestions down below, and I will see you in the next one.